All right, now recently Google released an update for Google Maps application which now supports the offline maps for uh, the watches running on Wear OS. And this is not only for the Pixel watches, all the Galaxy watches running on Wear OS also supports this offline maps feature now. And this includes the Galaxy Watch 4 series, 5 series and 6 series. In this video, I want to show you guys how exactly this works. I'm sure a lot of you guys are not using this feature on your Galaxy Watch. So what happens here is the offline map can be synced between the Galaxy Galaxy phone and the Galaxy watch even if you're not connected with your phone or with the internet on your watch you will be able to navigate using the uh, maps on the watch and the best part is even if your watch lacks the LTE connectivity you will still be able to use the offline map basically you do not need a connection to use this offline map uh, that is how it works on the phone as well and the same feature is now available for the Galaxy watches as well now the thing is this may be available on the stable version of the Google Maps application currently I am running on the beta version of Google Maps. Let me show you the version here. Let's go to store here first. As you see here, this is the Google Maps beta and the version number, let me just show you. Let me scroll down here about this application. The latest version is 11.149.0100. Now this is the beta version. Even on the stable variant of the uh, Google Maps, you would have already got this update and you may be able to use this feature on the Galaxy Watches. Let me show you how exactly this works. First, what you need to do is open the Google Maps and then just tap on search, search for a particular location. And here, just scroll towards the right, you will see more options. Just tap on that and you'll be able to see download offline map. Tap on that and select the area that you want to download. If you want to download an entire country's map or a specific state's map or a specific location map, you will be able to download it. Now let me just uh, select the specific area here. Now this is the maximum I can zoom in and uh, this takes about 160 MB of uh, download size. Let me just tap on download. Now this map will be downloaded and it will be available on the Google Maps on the phone. Now let me just close this. Now here I'll have to tap on my profile and tap on offline maps option to see the downloaded maps here. Now the uh, first map which I've downloaded is updating and the second map which I just selected is downloading on the phone. Now once this is downloaded, you will be able to sync that map, uh, downloaded offline map with your watch, but you need to make sure you have an updated Google Maps on the watch as well. To check if there is any update, all you need to do is just go to the uh, store and right here you can see on the top it shows uh, now offline maps option. You may or may not see this option. If you don't see this maps option, just scroll all the way down, uh, tap on manage applications. You will see all the applications that you have on your watch. You see, we have got an update for Google Maps here. I'll tap on this and I'll tap on update. Now the app will get updated. This will be the latest version of the application. Let me show you the version number here. If I can see that here, I'll tap on more information. This is the latest version 11.147.0701.w. W, w uh, indicates watch maybe. Uh, so this is the latest version updated on 18 September 2024. And now we have got the latest update as well. Uh, so let's see how exactly this offline maps work. Now let me open the map application scroll all the way down here we go we have got offline maps option right here uh, just tap on this here you can see we have got one map already downloaded which is on the phone and the second one is here you can just tap on this to download the second one as well uh, which is available on the phone it's a significant data and battery may be used if not on Wi-Fi and charging let me tap on OK now on the watch the size is 235 MB it's the same size on the phone as well 235 MB once it is downloaded you don't have to do anything actually uh, all you need to do is just open the map if you're in that particular location even if you do not have internet connectivity even if you're, if you're not connected to your phone, you will be able to use the maps. Using the inbuilt GPS on the watch, we will be able to navigate using offline maps. Now let's say I'm in a particular city and I want to navigate in that city using offline map. I need to make sure that I have downloaded that city's map on the phone and synced with the watch and that offline map is available on the watch. After that, you don't really have to do anything. Uh, you just have to open the maps on the watch and start traveling. Even if you're not connected to the internet, even if you're not connected with your phone, the uh, maps should be able to guide you using the inbuilt GPS. That's how this feature works. Let me know whether you have got this update or not in the comment section. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel as well. Now, the second feature I want to discuss with you guys is about the RCS messaging support on the Galaxy Watches. Now, Samsung is pushing the Google's messaging application as default on the Galaxy phones, and that will also happen to the Galaxy Watches. And going forward, uh, the Galaxy Watches will also support RCS messaging on the Google uh, Google's messaging app on the watch. Currently, it supports on the Android phones and recently the support has been extended to the 
the uh, iPhones as well. Uh, we should be able to send the messages using RCS to iPhones and that may be currently available only in the US, not in all the countries. Uh, but between the Android devices, we will be able to sh uh, send the messages using RCS without any issues. And that will also be applicable for the Galaxy Watches in coming days. But as of now, it is still not active. Uh, we don't have RCS support yet, but it is going to come very, very soon to the Galaxy Watches. Now, I'm not sure whether this is going to help you or not, whether you will be using the RCS messages on the watch. Not sure you are using it even on your phone. Uh, so that is something which depends on your requirement. Here in India, we all use the WhatsApp as our primary messaging application. But if you are using Google's messaging application on your Android phone, then RCS is a brilliant feature which enables us to send the files using the internet through RCS and you will also get the typing indicators. You can react to the messages. There are a lot of features which I've already discussed in the past about RCS. That support is coming to the uh, Galaxy watches running on Wear OS. Let me know what do you think about all this. Do share your thoughts in the comments section. Uh, this is something which I wanted to share with you guys in this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. Uh, if you haven't done it yet, go ahead, subscribe. You get to learn a lot about your Galaxy phones, Galaxy watches, Android phones, and anything related to technology. And do give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.